All right, so today we're going to be touching up my cousin's short haircut that we did last year. We cut her hair about every two to three months. We're a little past due, yeah. but I decided let's record it. That way maybe you can learn some tricks. She has extremely curly hair. She has a lot of hair. And I'm the only one who is blessed enough to cut it. So much. All right, so talk to me about. Okay, so I really want to know. So like any haircut, when it comes to cutting curly hair, you have to follow your lines. Always follow your lines. Okay, so part your hair where you would want it. There you go. I see the line. Yes. This is it. okay. So I'm going to section out the top of her hair because we're going to leave that long. I'm going to make my lines on the bottom and I'm going to blend them to the top of her hair. So we're going to start by parting the section off. Okay. Do you want to keep that, um... For me? Yeah. Yes. Now we're gonna work on getting a lot of this bulk out. This is where her hair is most heaviest, right on the back of her neck. So if you see the, the design that we had before is that we had her, her, sorry, the hair on her nape come into a point. So we're gonna keep that same design. And let's get to cutting. Okay. Sorry. So I'm going to bring another layer down and I'm just going to match that layer up to the first layer that we created. So this is one that's all about lines. line I'm just gonna bring it out I'm not holding it too tight now what's good about cutting curly hair is that your lines don't actually have to be perfect because the curls are going to randomly bend Now we got to connect this part to this part. You want to just uh, feel the back so you can see that's good for you. Oh my god, that's awesome. It's good, right? That is perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so. All right, so you see we have our lines. So now we have to connect these lines to these lines, but we're gonna leave this top longer. So I'm 
going to start right in the back. All right, so you see, you see the disconnect? Since we have already made this part shorter, but we don't want to line them up straight across. Let's do it that way. So we already changed these lines back here. So you see how this is significantly shorter, but we don't want to line it straight across because we want her to have height in the front. So what we're going to do is angle our fingers this way. And we just cut right into it. And then we're just going to add to that. The longest part. And don't forget when you're cutting curly hair, you we're not we're not pulling it like this. We're not pulling it like that because that changes the texture of her hair. I'm just combing it out lightly. I'm grabbing it at the ends. And once I have my end, I'm letting that piece go and I'm cutting right on top of it. And I'm cutting into it. stay down and then you, I did it on both sides so that way it's yeah you could do it either either or I could still bring it to the front yeah and you could still bring it to the front because I cut it short underneath here but I left it long on the top all right so she's now going to style her hair for you so stay tuned and we'll do the last looks so I just want to talk to you about the products that we use to create this look um I have put Linda on a customized system to nourish her hair because her hair being as curly and coarse as it is, is very, very dry. So, dry. so uh, we have her using a Super Nourish Oil Cream by Monet along with the Super Nourish Oil Conditioner. Now this product is specifically for dry, coarse, ethnic hair. Mm -hmm. um, you need very little of this product. It is vegan, cruelty free, gluten free. It is literally hair crack for your hair. So we always have her starting off with the wash and conditioner. She does leave a little bit of conditioner in her hair because her hair is exceptionally dry. And to style her hair, we start with a leave-in conditioner. We start with a leave-in conditioner, also by Monet, which is just to give her the hydration that her yeah. hair needs. Especially right here. Especially in the middle of her head. And then we have her using a curl cream. I find that creams are a lot better for curly hair rather than gels. Yep. And we're just going to show you a little clip of how she styles her hair. So if you see, the way that she's brushing her hair is from under and up to create volume and give her her curls the definition that it needs. So this Denman brush just makes it easier to separate each curl. Because what she's going to do next is she's going to actually twist each curl with her finger to give it the definition that she wants. Obviously, where it's shorter, she's not going to be able to really twist it. And you can see that the curls are already giving her the shape that she wants. I know she likes this, so I'm just going to do this one for her. It just naturally forms into the curls that Honestly, it feels so good. I really think you're gonna love this line. Like, it's gonna do wonders. It's gonna get rid of all your dryness here. Yeah, and it's, it's good so for dry. your scalp. Really? Yeah. It like moisturizes? Uh -huh. Because there's no alcohol, it's completely vegan. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I know. This right here, the blowout cream is literally crack. All my girls out there who blow dry your hair every this right here will literally cut your blow dry time in half. Um, if you have any questions about products, um, please send me a message, leave a comment below. I have everything that you need to save your hair. I'm going to actually take a little bit of the cream and put it in the back now. Just a tiny bit, literally. <laughs> 